小型雑器と多雑器チップ、動物実験なしでの科学的進歩。こちらの動画をご覧いただきありがとうございます。NPO 法人、動物実験の廃止を求める会、JAVA です。この動画は、医師と科学者からなるドイツの慈善団体、ドクターズ・アゲンスト・アニマル・エクスペリメンツが作成した動画に、私たち JAVA が、許可を得て字幕をつけたものです。このドイツの団体は1979年の設立以来、すべての動物実験の即時廃止を支持し、動物実験の残酷性と非科学性について、科学に基づいた情報や資料を提供してくれています。この動画の内容を簡単にまとめると、動物実験は非倫理的なだけでなく、科学的に信頼もできません。そこで、動物実験に代わる先進的な実験方法、代替法が、すでに世界中の研究者の間で使われています。代替法には、ドナーの臓器から得られた幹細胞を成長させて、オルガノイドと呼ばれる実験用の小型臓器を作る方法があります。また、人体のすべての細胞は、実験室で幹細胞に変換することができ、こうして作られた幹細胞を iPS 細胞と呼んでいます。例えば、人の髪の毛の細胞である毛包細胞を iPS 細胞に変換させることで、腎臓や肝臓など様々なオルガノイドを簡単に作ることができます。この複数のオルガノイドを多臓器チップと呼ばれる基板の上で培養することで、各臓器間の関連性や病気の治療法などについて研究できるのです。それでは本編を再生します。少し早いので再生速度を遅らせるといいかもしれません。どうぞ最後までご覧ください。Animal experiments are not only unethical and morally objectionable, but scientifically unreliable too. Humans and animals are fundamentally different in their physiologies, such that data obtained from animal experiments cannot be applied to humans. Simply speaking, a human being is not a 70 kilogram mouse. Innovative research methods based on cells of human origin rather than animal experiments. Are scientifically sound and provide human relevant data. Tissues, organs, and ultimately all living things are made up of cells. Each organ consists of specialized cells that enable the specific function of the organ. For example, a nerve cell has long extensions for signal transfer, whereas an intestinal cell has small finger like projections to maximize the surface area for nutrient absorption. Each organ harbors its own stem cells that continuously produce new specialized cells to replace the dead cells. This is how an organ is continuously renewed throughout its lifetime. This self renewing potential of an organ driven by its stem cells has been used to successfully grow tiny mini organs in the lab using, for instance, tissue biopsies obtained from either gut or liver surgery from human donors. These mini organs grown in the lab are known as organoids. Isolated stem cells are embedded in a gel like matrix. And cultured on a petri dish. Organoids can be grown from these stem cells by using a culture medium containing nutrients and other supplements that mimic the blood supply. Under these laboratory conditions, the stem cells retain their ability to produce specialized cells of the original source organ. Within a few days, three dimensional tiny organoids are formed, such as a mini gut or a mini liver. Only half a millimeter in length, so small that they are invisible to the naked eye. As the organoids can in turn produce their own new stem cells, they can be multiplied in the lab. They can even be preserved by freezing and reactivated later when needed. This is important for high throughput screenings and for repeating experiments with identical organoids originating from the same individual source. 
Biobanking enables the storage of frozen organoids derived from different healthy donors and patients. They can then be used any time in the future for different analyses. Scientists all over the world are already using human organoids for different studies, such as the investigation of biological processes inside cells, the molecular bases of diseases, therapeutic approaches or the toxicity of compounds. In contrast to animal studies, data obtained from such experiments are reliable and relevant to humans. It's not always easy to obtain human tissue biopsies, and for some organs it's next to impossible. However, there is an alternative approach which is to generate many organs and is non-invasive to the donor. Every cell in the human body can be converted into a stem cell in the laboratory. These stem cells are known as induced pluripotent stem cell, IPSC. IPSCs possess the ability to produce any kind of specialized cells so that any type of mini organ can be generated from them. Specific nutrient supplements in the growth media determine which organoid develops from them. For instance, a hair follicle cell from a human donor can be transformed into an IPSC which can in turn produce the donor's personalized mini organs such as a kidney, liver or gut. One of the major goals of this approach is to correct genetic disorders in the organoids and then transplant them back into the patient. Tumor organoids generated from cancer patients are used to screen and identify the most effective drug, which is then used to treat the patient. This approach is called personalized medicine. It's often believed that to answer some scientific questions, the interplay between different organs has to be taken into consideration and that this can only be achieved by animal experiments. This is, however, not true as research on human mini-organs gives better solutions. The so-called multi-organ chip system acts by mimicking the human body and the interplay between different organs. Several different mini-organs are cultured in little plastic wells on a biochip. They are then connected via a microfluidic system that simulates the bloodstream and delivers nutrients to the organoids and hence enables inter-organ communication. Drugs can be introduced in this way to every organ on the chip via the microfluidic system and its effect on the organ or how it metabolizes is studied. Samples can be taken from the microfluidic system and analyzed, very similar to a routine blood test. As of now, up to 10 organs can be integrated on a single multi-organ chip, skin, heart, liver, gut, kidney, lung, etc. By generating organoids from a particular patient, a diseased body can be emulated on a chip. Therapeutic approaches can be developed and then tested. Such organoids and multi-organ chips are innovative, valid and advanced model systems to study human biology and diseases instead of animals that are artificially made sick. This is how medical science progresses without animal experiments.